Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about runtime polymorphism or dynamic binding. In our last class, we discussed about polymorphism and compile time polymorphism. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, this class is a bit complex to understand. Watch this class till the end. It is very, very important to understand up to end. Now coming to, the, uh, to this class, before we move on to the concept of runtime polymorphism or dynamic binding, uh, first this is what accepted in Java. Let's try to understand this with an example. With this we are going to understand runtime polymorphism. A super class variable can reference a subclass object. Yes, this is allowed in Java. A super class variable can reference to a subclass object. With example, we are going to understand this concept better. What is that mean superclass variable reference to a subclass object? Class A, in this class we are having M1 method. Now let's take class B extends A, it is having M1 method. Class C extends B, it is also having M1 method. Class D extends C, it is having M1 method. So this is what the concept of method overriding. All the subclasses having the same method, we call it as method overriding. Signature is same and method name is same, everything is same. But the logic which we mentioned here is different. Now try to understand the concept of superclass variable can reference to a subclass object. What does that mean is A O B. O B is a variable that belongs to class A. It's a reference variable. So we created a reference variable that belongs to class A. Now, OB is equal to new A of. What is this meaning of new A of? It is going to create an object for class A. And that object is assigned to OB. Means OB is now referring to the class object A. Object A. Object that belongs to class A. Up to here, we already know. how. Uh, what, what do you mean that? Uh, now, if you call it as OB.M1 of. Which method it is going to call? It is going to call M1 method that belongs to class A. Now try to understand. OB is equal to new B of. New B of means we are creating a object for class B. That object is assigned to which variable? OB. OB belongs to which class? A. This is what the meaning of super class. A is a super class for all the above class, all the classes. Class A is the super class for B. C super class is B. D super class is C. So A is the super class for all the classes. A super class variable can reference to a subclass object. This is what they mean. OB is now referencing to the subclass object. Yes, it is accepted. Now what happens? OB dot M1 of which M1 it is going to call? It is going to call the M1 method that present in class B. So now try to understand OB one entity that is that is using different uh, different logics at different times. We call it as polymorphism. So here OB, here it is pointing to M1 method that present in class A. Here it is pointing to M1 method that present in class B. OB is equal to new C of. Uh, means OB is referencing to C object, object of class C. OB dot M1 of, it is calling M1 method that belongs to class C. OB is equal to new D of, uh, it is creating an object of D, object for class D and OB dot M1 of, uh, the same entity that referencing to different logics at different timings that is what call it, we call it as polymorphism why we call it as runtime polymorphism as you define a ob we created a reference variable but ob is pointing to m1 method that belongs to class a pointing to m1 method that belongs to class b so objects are created during any object can be assigned to this variable objects are created during the runtime so which method it has to bind, which method it has to execute depends on uh, during the execution time. That is why we call it as runtime polymorphism or dynamic binding. Why it got the dynamic binding means uh, so to which M1 it has to bind that decided during the execution time. 
so this is what the concept of runtime polymorphism this is accepted and you need to understand one more little important thing at the end with the next example and we uh, will continue this example ob dot m1 means uh, here ob is referencing to m1 method that present in class d now we are creating an object new ob is equal ob1 ob1 is a new object that belongs to which class uh, class b ob1 is referencing to the object of class b ob1.m1 means it is going to call the method that present in a, uh, class b ob is equal to ob1 now ob1 is assigned to ob yes it is accepted because ob is a reference of a super class super class variable can reference to a subclass object like this we can use that concept now coming to the next exa next example see we we go deep into the in whatever the concept we discussed above we we go deep into it so how it is going to be ex executed what happens when we created the reference variable how it is going to do that binding all those things now class a void see in class a we are having a m1 method and m5 method in class b we are having m1 method m2 method it is extending a class c extending b m1 method m5 method class d extend c m1 method so like this we are having four hierarchical uh, hierarchy of our classes now coming to the class test a o b we created a reference variable for super class a what happens inside when we created this reference variable it is going to take the naming of that variable naming means see o b is a reference variable that belongs to class a so what are the methods that present in class a m1 and m5 method so naming is assigned during the whenever the reference variable is created so ob what is the naming that belongs to the ob is m1 of m5 of so this naming is allocated to ob reference ob ob variable now try to understand next thing ob dot m1 of ob is equal to new a of which object it is going to be assigned for ob class a object is assigned to ob now ob can call m1 method and m5 method because in the naming it contains both m1 method m5 method now try to understand ob is equal to new c of in the class c which object it is assigned to ob class c object is assigned to ob what are the methods that available in class c m1 method m5 method it is going to match with the namings of ob yes so now we can call both m1 method and m5 method ob dot m5 method is going to call from c's object ob dot m1 of going to be called with c's object class c object the method that present in class c those methods are going to but it is going to check the naming same name should appear then only it is going to be executed now 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 try to understand ob is equal to new b of what are the methods that present in b class b m1 and m2 method but what is the reference variable what is the naming that belongs to reference variable ob the naming that belongs to reference variable ob is m1 and m5 but uh, ob is assigned with the class b object the methods that present in class b are m1 and m2 which one is matching to the naming m1 is matching to the naming m2 is not matching to the naming we cannot call m2 method using ob so that's why here see we made any cross mark means this statement is not going to be executed so this is what happens inside it is going to store the naming when you, whenever you create the reference it has to if you, if you attach any object in that object it has to match the namings whatever the methods that match the namings those methods only be called we can call only that methods so these are the basics you need to understand when we when we when you are using the concept of super class variable can refer to a subclass object well, that is what we call it as runtime polymorphism we can assign with same reference name we can use different methods that present that belongs to different classes and different objects so this is what the concept of runtime polymorphism hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept 
Please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.